Hi guys, it's ASBYT and welcome back to a brand new video. Now just a few days ago I did my full review after three months worth of use of the Samsung Note 9. So firstly go and check that out if you're interested in seeing that. Beautiful, beautiful phone really is. But as a result of that video, I also got asked about the brand new Android 9 Pie, which of course is going to be coming to these sort of Samsung devices in the near future. It was introduced at the developer conference last week, and a lot of you guys have been asking me, what's different? What's different? What's different? What's new on Samsung's One UI? The skin over the top of Android 9 Pie. So without further ado, let's get straight to it. <laughs> Look at that for a funky new watch from Xiaomi. That is real talent. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful little watch. Big fan of that. It also comes in the box with a metal strap as well as the leather as well. What more could you want? Video's coming soon. Not for today. <laughs> Right, so welcome back. Like I said, Samsung Note 9 is here in my hand. They're going to be rolling out Android 9 Pi on this device very soon, probably within the next few weeks. No, 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 in all fairness, it is going to be next year. It will be around February, March time if they stay with what they've been doing in recent years. Getting that update out quicker would kind of eradicate one of the downsides of their products, and there aren't that many, so that would certainly help. But it's not going to be officially released just yet, but there is a beta available, and we're going to talk about exactly what's new. So the first thing they wanted to focus on was bringing the hardware and the software all together and making it feel as seamless as possible. And this is something that should separate the likes of Apple and Google from the rest of the other products on the market because the hardware and software is made by one company or at least overseen by one company and I, and I say should because there's been quite a few software problems with the Pixel 3 and 3XL but that's for another day. I did a one month review of the Pixel 3 XL, you can go and check that out. Samsung have always been famed for their great designs, great features, RAM full of specs, R rammed full of specs, RAM. See what I did there? <laughs> That's terrible. Really bad. Yeah, they've been often criticized for the heavy skin, a lot of bloatware, and that is one of the main things that I've taken from the developer conference is the fact that they are looking to completely clean up and made it as simple as possible. So what exactly are they changing? Well, for a start, the icons and notifications have been completely simplified, like these focus blocks, for example, really black, dark background, and very simple, clean pop-ups. And this is a very good example of the reduction of clutter across the whole of the UI. Another example is in the settings. They've actually grouped similar things together to make it again a lot easier to find things kind of would feel they would do that anyway or have done it already because that kind of would be one of the first things you'd think to group things together that are similar but they didn't and they've addressed that so they've also simplified things like the calling section for example where it's very clean nothing on there until you actually interact with that page and things pop up and then are taken away kind of as and when they're needed and this again reaffirms the simplified nature of the ui they've also done something that i think is a great idea and that's like having a, a, a viewing section at the sort of top of the phone and an interaction section at the bottom tabs have also been moved from the top to the bottom again something I feel kind of should always be there. It's far easier to find things uh, and actually sort of press on them at the bottom than it is to sort of reach up and get them at the top. So another reoccurring theme is that they're making the new One UI far more user-friendly for one-handed use. One UI, one-handed use. I did that joke a few videos ago. It wasn't funny then. Stop doing it. There are two more key things that they've changed on One UI over their version of Android Oreo. And that is, of course, number one, they've introduced dark mode kind of across the board. They had sections which used it before, but now again due to customer feedback saying that they were a massive fan of that they've introduced the option pretty much across the board and that is again another great thing so many people now use dark mode over the more traditional sort of default mode and finally another thing to do with color is the fact that they've now introduced also a color matching between the hardware and software again to kind of unibody the device and mesh that perfect harmony between hardware and software some people will say that's a gimmick I think it's going to look quite nice. I will be hopefully doing a video on the beta version on the Samsung Note 9. So stay tuned for that video. If I've missed anything, let me know in the comment section below and I'll go into it. If you love everything tech, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. You turn on the notification bell so that every time I post a video, you are notified. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about Samsung's new One UI. I love you and leave you. I'll see you in the next one. Says BYT. Peace out.